Hello everybody, I'm Adam Bigelow. I'm the product manager for Total Workstation. Today we're gonna to talk about industrial location platforms. Um, the one that we're gonna focus on is our wireless system. Within that platform, we also have our tethering system and our guidance system, which is a encoder-based system, which does a lot of the same things as our spot point system that we have here on the table, um, but are connected to articulated arms. Now, the great thing about our spot point system here is this is actually a wireless bolt level air proofing system. This gives us a lot of flexibility within the station or the pitch where the operator can move around. You can have a lot of different tools as well because you can have multiple tools paired to one of these receivers that you see in front of me. So here we have a couple different types of receivers that this system operates with. So we have a three optic receiver and a two optic receiver. And what's the difference between these two? When we're talking about bolt-to-bolt -bolt capabilities, and we're talking about the station-wide capabilities of how much these camera systems can see within that station or pitch. The most important thing I wanna point out is this is actually a line of sight system. So what does that mean? So on the tool itself, we have a transmitter, and then that communicates with the camera system inside of this receiver. So we have a lot of capabilities of how we can meet our customer's um, station or pitch requirements. So we can add a transmitter right here on the top. We can add another one on the side, which allows for you to rotate the tool. These transmitters actually get their power and communication through the accessory bus of this tool. You can see here, we also have an ST wrench that has a transmitter on as well. But this gives us the ability to allow for the operator to move around within the station and gives you flexibility of how you come in and address the actual part within the station. The other thing I wanna point out with this is this is predominantly a stop station type of product, but we also have the capabilities of adding a transmitter to the AGV or to the part and track the part as it's moving within the station. So this will triangulate communication with this tag right here, and then that communicates to the receivers above. The other thing that I wanna to mention to kind of wrap this section up is the ability to add this receiver and this receiver together so that we have the ability to have one above and one on the side. So if you have a capability issue of getting to that part and you don't have the room to add an additional transmitter on the tool, you can actually rotate this tool and not need that additional transmitter to be seen within the station or pitch. All right, so now in the live demonstration, you can see here on the screen that we have six bolts lined up here as our part. And you can see that we have one orange target and a bunch of white targets. So the orange target is letting us know where the first bolt position is going to be. And then the whites let us know that there's the other bolts in the pattern. Now, if I go to the actual position with the tool correctly, you're gonna see that dot turn blue um, instead. And then if I actually run this down, you're gonna see here that we have a good run down with the dot turning green. Now let's say we see that bolt two turn orange, but I'm gonna take the tool to bolt five and try pulling the trigger. It's not going to allow me to do that because the tool is disabled. So it's looking for me to be in the correct location. Now if I go to bolt number two and actually run it down, you can see here again that we have a good run down with the green dot, but you can also hear that there's an audible letting us know that we've also had a good run down. And then you can see here that I can follow the sequence all the way through the six bolts. And it's gonna to continue to give me that audible as I'm running this down. You can also see here um, on the actual tool itself, we have a visual cue that if I'm in the correct location, the light ring itself is gonna turn blue as well. And here we've completed all six bolts and had a process complete. Okay, so we've already demonstrated a static part and how it's tightened. So here what we're gonna demonstrate is actually a dynamic type of strategy where the part is gonna be moving down a line. So again, we can add this transmitter to an AGV, a moving line, um, some type of push cart, um, and either it stays on that or an operator in that station can put it on and take it off as you're doing it. So here you can see again, I'm on bolt one. I can run this down. I had a good rundown. And as you can see, the part has started to move. So I can go to the next bolt. Again, it's tracking. So if I go to the wrong location, it's not gonna allow me to run. But then if I go to the right location, oh, there I had actually a bad rundown. So in this case, I can actually do a re-hit. Then I can go to the next process, follow up by bolt number five, and then we can finish the sequence with bolt number six. And here again, you can see on the screen that we've had six good rundowns and that the process is complete while the part has been moving on this line. 
I hope you found this presentation helpful in better understanding SpotPoint from both a hardware and software aspect. If you have any questions, please reach out to your Atlas Copco representative. Thank you.